At St Paul's we're going to be starting a new series in one of the books of the New Testament called Two Corinthians and we're not going to be starting from the beginning of this letter, we're just going to be looking at two chapters together over the next month, chapters eight and nine. And so since we're going to be uh, jumping in at the middle of this book, I thought it would be helpful just to make a short video to give you some of the background, uh, especially to these chapters, 2 Corinthians 8 and 9, so that when you do come to church on Sunday, so that when you read these chapters for yourself in preparation, you'll have something more of an idea of what's going on. And I, I trust and pray that the Lord would help you through uh, this, this, this time that we have together so that you get more out of what we're going to be learning together. So 2 Corinthians 8 and 9, I'll give you a short introduction now. The Bible is divided into two halves. You've got the Old Testament, which broadly speaking deals with events that happened before the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then you've got the New Testament, which describes his coming and then the very early history of the church. And 2 Corinthians is in the New Testament. The first half of the New Testament is uh, the, the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, which describe the, the birth and the life and ministry, the death and resurrection of Jesus. And then the second half of the New Testament is devoted to the very earliest Christians. So you've got the book of Acts, which is a, a sort of historical narrative that describes the founding of the church and its expansion through the world. And then there are various letters written by apostles and God's appointed ministers to uh, the churches that were scattered throughout the world. And we're in one of those letters. We're in 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians is a letter that was written by the Apostle Paul. You can read about his calling in Acts chapter 9, and some of you will be, will be familiar with that. And Paul was an apostle. He was called by the Lord Jesus to spread the message about Jesus throughout the world. And uh, one of the places that he took the Christian message was Corinth. Corinth is a, a city in southern Galatia, uh, sorry, southern uh, Greece. And at that time, uh, Corinth was a great city. And uh, the book is called 2 Corinthians because it's not the only letter from Paul to that particular church that we got in the New Testament. There's another one called 1 Corinthians as well. When the Apostle Paul founded churches, very often he kept up with the believers who were connected to him. And 2 Corinthians is evidence of that. We've got a number of letters in the New Testament that are written by the Apostle Paul, and they show real concern for the believers that Paul is writing to. He clearly uh, keeps up his written correspondence and he sends friends to help the believers in various places because he continues to be concerned about their walk with God and their faith in Jesus Christ. He doesn't want to let them go astray. He's very... Uh, He's like a, a father who's concerned for his children, always concerned for the welfare of, of the Christians that he's connected to. And so 2 Corinthians really comes out of the heart of the Apostle Paul for that. But because it's a letter that we have recorded for us in the New Testament, we also trust that 2 Corinthians is a letter that the Holy Spirit wanted Paul to write, that the Holy Spirit moved Paul to write. And so when we read 2 Corinthians, we can trust that everything that's in it is true. And we can also trust that what's in it is not just for that church in the first century. It's also for St. Paul's church and every church in the 21st century. We're going to be looking together at chapters 8 and 9. 2 Corinthians isn't one of Paul's, uh, isn't his longest letter, but it is one of the longer letters. And Paul deals with a number of subjects in the letter. Chapters 8 and 9 in particular deal with the subject of giving and we've titled our series Generous, Overflowing with the Generosity of God. 
One of the great concerns of the Apostle Paul throughout his ministry was provision for the Christians who were living in Jerusalem and Judea. These were Jewish Christians and at various times in the first century they, they, they fell on very hard times. And so the Apostle Paul was going around the world not only preaching the gospel but he was also asking believers to financially contribute so that he could take a collection back to the Christians in Jerusalem uh, so that they could be provided for in every way. It's a wonderful way of working out just, just how united we are as one family in Jesus, that Jews and non-Jews support one another, take care of one another, even financially. And that's a subject that's close to Paul's heart. And chapters eight and nine of 2 Corinthians really focus on that. About a year before 2 Corinthians was written, the Corinthian Christians had made a resolution that they would contribute to this offering that Paul was eventually going to bring to, uh, to Judea and Jerusalem. But a year had passed and they hadn't made good yet on that promise that they'd made. And so Paul was wanting to remind them about that. Paul sent two Corinthians to the uh, Corinthian Christians uh, by the hand of a man called Titus, who was one of Paul's trusted helpers. He was another gospel minister in the first century. And Titus had actually come from Corinth to Macedonia, where Paul was staying at the time. And Titus had come from Corinth to Macedonia with a good report about the Corinthians. They responded well to a number of issues that Paul had, had pointed out to them. And yet there were still some things that Paul wanted Titus to sort out. And Paul and the other believers there decided, well, since Titus has done such a good job with the other issues that the Corinthians needed to sort out, I'm going to send Titus to them again. And so Paul sends Titus from Macedonia to Corinth with this letter to Corinthians. And one of the issues is about this collection for the Christians in Judea. And Paul says to the Corinthians uh, in this chapter, I'm sending Titus to you now and I want you to get this collection ready. I want it to be from the right motive. And I want you to be inspired by the generosity of God in giving his son, Jesus Christ, of these believers in Macedonia, where I am, and also to be reminded of your own pledge. And Paul says to them, I'm sending Titus to you now, but soon I'm coming. And when I come, I want the collection to be ready. And then Paul is going to take up that collection and he's going to take it to the Christians in Judea. So generous is the name of our series, overflowing with the generosity of God. And we're going to see in, in these two chapters, 2 Corinthians 8 and 9, how the Apostle Paul encourages the Corinthian believers to overflow with the generosity of God. And our hope and our prayer as we do this uh, four week series in 2 Corinthians 8 and 9 is that God will help us at St Paul's as well, to overflow with that same generosity of God.